Hi guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission completion video. We have an awesome Necron Force for you guys to check out today. We're back in a second to have a look at this awesome commission in more details. See you guys back in a second. So first up, let's have a look at the destroyers from this awesome Necron army phase. Uh, really cool colour scheme. Uh, the majority of the uh, sort of armour on the infantry and things like that is red as per our client's request, which obviously these destroyers are. Uh, in the later parts of this video, you'll see that the main colour scheme has got that lovely sort of obsidian kind of cold black uh, that's, on the, that's on them. You can see that colouring on the weapon casings on these destroyers as well. Uh, but let's pull forward some of these destroyers so you can have a look at them in a bit more detail. Really, really, really cool models. Um, they've lasted a test of time. They're awesome. Oh, it's a little bit loose on the base just to ease of transport when we post it to the client uh, but as you can see all the edges fully picked out fully highlighted in multiple colors as well we've got a lovely complementary orange to the red um, just to show uh, that, that glow on the weapons and power cables and things like that uh, and again all the metal work there with a lovely highlight on it as well which is lovely uh, now the basing for this army and you'll see it across these are all custom bases which we've made for the client uh, a client requested sort of like a cobbled uh, cityscape kind of basing scheme which is what we've done uh, on all the bases for this force. Uh, Nick had a great time working on the project and I know that the basing was something that he really took a lot of pride in. Um, and again here as you can see just another one of these destroyers, we'll put it forward so you can see all the areas of highlighting work done on the black, on the red, on the silver, uh, all fully picked out and uh, every aspect of detail done on these uh, awesome awesome destroyer models. So that's just another one of the destroyers. Uh, we'll pull forward a few of them just so you can see because they are obviously all uh, a little bit different in their posing. Uh, he's like grabbing his weapon there as you can see uh, or swing into bear uh, and again you can see all the edging that's done on all the aspects of the armor the uh, the head got head as well has also got fully, fully highlighted all the eyes have been picked out in a lovely complementary orange the same as the weapons and things like that uh, so that's just another one of the destroyers uh, and pull one more forward just so you can see another one in a bit of a different pose this one's a bit lower let's have a look at him uh, again same consistency throughout on all of them so all the attention to detail on all the areas of the armor silver work uh, on the glow on the weapon casings and all those bits and bobs there and again really Really, really cool basing scheme on this army as well uh, so yeah so that's all the uh, destroyers from this force guys do hope you like them stick around next we've got uh, do got uh, we've got a triumph stalker coming up we've also got some annihilation barges and also some night sights so they're all coming up next see you in the next section So next up, let's have a look at some other models from the force. We have got two Annihilation Barges, and we've also got the Triarch Stalker as well. Some really, really cool Necro models. Uh, obviously, the Annihilation Barges can also be made up as another variant, but the, our client's gone for the Annihilation Barge, which is an awesome model. Uh, what we'll do first of all is just pull forward some of the Annihilation Barges just so you can have a look at these. Uh, now, obviously, the really cool sort of scheme that our client's gone for with that lovely sort of energised orange look on sort of the uh, buttons, dials, and control act parts, lights, and obviously all the power cables and things for weapons. Uh, and Nick's done a stellar job here just edging this uh, with multiple colours uh, just to really make that black have interest to it and make the edges look a bit like uh, they're glowing, which is really cool. Uh, again, lovely complimentary red on the crew. Uh, you'll see that and obviously on all the Necron models of the Force, they've got that lovely red scheme on the armour panels and sort of face plates as well, which is really, really nice. So that's just one of the Annihilation Barges. Really, really clean finished model, which is lovely. Uh, same again on the other one as well, uh, just so you can see that in a bit more detail. Here you've got obviously all the areas of detail, every edge all fully picked out, fully highlighted there, all the little extra details and runes and things all picked out in a lovely complementary gold as well. Uh, again, you've got all the lights and everything fully highlighted and picked out there, so that's just the other Annihilation Barge there as you can see. Uh, and then we have the Triarch Stalker as well, which is obviously a very, very cool model. Uh, pull that forward just so you guys can see it in a bit more detail. Again, just get this to focus. Uh, we've got obviously that lovely red Red armor on the uh, Necron uh, pilot there as you can see with all the areas of detail fully picked out fully highlighted in a really really lovely scheme uh, all the lights lenses and power cables and everything all done in that orange uh, just to really make those areas of detail just explode off the model basically which is really cool uh, makes them pop really nicely which is great uh, again all the runes and sort of uh, Necron sort of glyphs and things are all picked out in a gold uh, just to really complement that compared to the rest of the scheme and also make them stand out in the models as well Really, really cool model, the Triarch Stalker. I've always, always liked it. Uh, so there we go with some of the next models coming up. I'm going to be looking at the two flyers from this army phase. So stick around, they're coming up next.
And lastly, we have the two Night Scythes from this Necron Force. Really, really cool models. Um, they're just really fun to build and also to paint as well, just because of the lots of little bits of detail on them, which is really nice. And also the overall shape and everything makes them really cool. So we're going to pull just some, but we'll pull them both forward. That's exactly the same, but I'll pull the first one forward here so you can see. So uh, Nick's done a stellar job of picking out every edge in multiple colors really sharply and really precisely, which is really, really nice. Just to make this uh, black have a lot of interest to it. Um, and it looks very, very sort of uh, evil. I think it's uh, insidious, I think is a good word to call it but it looks there uh, very evil and cold which is what we wanted to do obviously necrons being machines uh, we wanted them to be very cold and insidious and that's what uh, we've done with the, the client's color scheme again but you can see obviously the pilot rule is all done in red there just so he stands out and uh, just you know he's very very visible in the, in the actual ship as well uh, all the dials and everything fully picked out and fully highlighted there just getting that to focus for you guys so you can see uh, that's all been done there just to make those areas of detail uh, stand out in the model all the lights and everything as well you've got all the power cables and everything uh, for the, the weaponry on this night side as well picked out and you've got that lovely uh, round portal kind of thing there or projector that uh, had multiple areas of highlighting done work done on it just to show like that swirling energy that is around it again little bits of gold work done on the models as well uh, just to break up the black and silver and orange uh, and obviously all the runes and things like for example on the pilot are all painted there in the black in 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 gold sorry uh, just so you can see those bits and bobs that's standing out on him as well and his eyes are done in a little a bit of orange as well just to make that glowing energy kind of look uh, on him as well so that's just one of the night sides very much the same on the other one uh, but again just to show you just the consistency between the, the all the models in this force again you've got the same attention to detail on every model on all the edges on every aspect of detail work on the model uh, and another thing that we uh, we are touched upon briefly in, in various sections of this video is obviously the basing these are all custom bases which we've made for the client um, just that he wanted a cobbled kind of city kind of basing scheme so we've done that for him uh, as you can see here on the base uh, really 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 cool models uh, but lovingly finished in a very clean and uh, very cold looking color scheme which is lovely uh, so that's just the two night size from this force do hope you like them guys thanks for watching uh, up to this section in a sec we're going to come back and have a look at the force all again in all its glory so we we'll stick around we're back very shortly So thanks for checking the video out guys, I really appreciate it ever so much and I do hope you like this awesome Necron Force. Uh, I know for a fact that Nick had a great time working on it because of the variation of models that are in it. If you are interested in a commission with us here at Siege then very simply all you need to do is head to the link to our contact form which can be found in the description of this video, go to the website they will take you directly to the contact form, select all the drop down options that are relevant for your project, include a list of models in our format in the message section plus any extra notes, file that off to us to get the process started. Also in the description of this video you can find all the links to our social media which we post loads of content of all the projects we're working on, the courses which we teach and loads of extra events and things that we do uh, around the year. So definitely, definitely go give us a follow on Instagram and Twitter and uh, go give our Facebook page a like. Uh, as always, thanks ever so much for watching the video, really appreciate it so much and uh, while you're here on YouTube, give us a thumbs up for the video, subscribe to the channel obviously so you can keep up to date with all the videos and projects which we complete and finally if you hit the bell icon you'll always be notified of when we upload a video so make sure you do those things to keep up to date. See you guys on the next one, take care, bye bye.